Hey, what I have for you today is a, a warm up that you can do before you get on the ice or even before you work out. But I, I had more getting on the ice in my mind when I put it together for you. But it's a complete warm up you can do in less than 10 minutes. I'll give you every single step you need. This is Maria from goalietrainingpro.com. I give you the right training to do off the ice so you can explode on the ice. So we are going to start with self-mile fascial release. All of this four-part series are these four different warm-ups. We're just using lacrosse ball because I wanted something that you can carry with you. Um, this time, instead of going on our hip flexor, which is that bundle of muscle kind of in the front of our hip, we're going to come inside a little bit and try to get a little more on our deep hip flexor. So here's the, my hip bone. I'm going to come just inside that and then lie on top of it. So I'm not even rolling on it that much. I'm, I'm kind of moving around to try to find the right spot. And then I'm just going to sit there and let it sort of melt in. Um, do not get in on your groin. <laughs> that won't feel nice. Don't get up on your belly either. So it actually doesn't feel that nice when you're in the right spot, but you shouldn't be, yeah, you don't need to like put a lacrosse ball on your colon or something, okay? So, so stay away from those areas. The next one we're going to do is our glutes, but not like our regular, like we do sort of the meaty part of our glutes. A lot of times the part we sit on, we're going to get up here more into the origin. So right up close to where it attaches to our pelvis. And you'll feel what I mean. It's different quality of tissue and you can get in there. And that time you will roll around a little bit on it and just really work on that nice tissue quality where it can get a little bit gnarly. And then we're going to put away the lacrosse ball. And you're going to start with just half kneeling groin stretch. So keeping your torso forward um, and just feeling a nice stretch here on the inside of your thigh. You'll hold that for 30 seconds. Then you're going to just rock back and come forward. So first thing you'll do is the hold. Then we'll start making it a little more dynamic. You'll do 10 and then you'll switch to the other side. So 30 seconds lacrosse ball, 30 second hold, 10 each way for the rock back. Then we're going to get into our hip flexors. So, you know, grab a little, grab your pants or something you can use to cushion your knee and we'll just come up and do a nice hip flexor stretch. Make sure you're not extending your back. So if you're here and this leg's angled way back, you're doing something wrong. Your hips actually don't have that much extension. So we come here, we kind of tuck our hips underneath and we stay nice and neutral in our back position. 30 seconds on each side. Then what I'm going to do, and this is why you really need the cushioning, I'm going to add in a glide. So as I bring my heel towards my bum, I'm going to glide my hips forward a bit. You see how my torso angle kind of stays the same relative to my leg. So I'm not extending my back as I pull my heel to my bum. I'm just gliding forward, 10 on each side again. Then, now we're going to start sort of using that in a little more functional way. So we're going to get into our nice deep, deep squat, but now we're going to do an opening pry. So I'm going to try to take this knee out as far as I can. I'm even lifting the inside of that foot, pulling it out for five seconds back down, pulling the other side out for five seconds, coming back down and still trying to stay nice and tall in my torso. Now we're going to get on our feet. So then um, sometimes we do these traveling, so we might do it the length of the turf, but you can do it in the dressing room just on the spot. So you don't need a lot of room. But what we're going to do is a sumo squat to pop. So we're going to step out, keeping our knees wide. We're going to sit down and then we're just going to pop up and bring our feet together. So we're lengthening our groins under tension and then we're making them contract somewhat forcefully. We're not getting carried away again. We're just sort of getting things warmed up. So then I can step back out this way pop, step back this way, pop, and I'll do four each way. From there, I'm going to go into the world's greatest stretch or what we call the best stretch ever. So coming down into a nice lunge position, trying to keep my torso long. So I'm actually not rounding my back. I'm keeping my torso long as long as I can from my heel to the top of my head. My hands are inside my feet from here. And so I want to feel a stretch here and maybe a stretch here. From here, I bring this hand to the outside 
and then I rock back until I feel a stretch in my hamstrings. You might feel a stretch in your hamstrings just getting here, and that's totally fine. That's as far as you'll go. Then I'm gonna get into my nice hip flexor stretch, tucking my bum underneath, feeling it where I'm supposed to feel it, and then I can step into the next one, or I can just kick this foot back out behind me if I'm doing it in a nice stationary way, hamstring, hip flexor, come up, and then kick my other leg out. So that's getting the front and the back of our hips. Then what we're gonna do is in, head into a wide out. So we get another one from my groins, putting them in a bit of a lengthened position and making them work under tension. So I'm here in a sitting position, keeping my chest up. I'm hopping my feet out to the outside, keeping my knees over my ankles, not letting them pinch in here, and then back in together nice and tight. Boom, boom, boom. So we get those muscles, you know, slam that five hole shut. <laughs> the last one we're gonna do is a little diagonal glide, focusing on, hey, you know, where would, where would the puck be? So if I'm here covering my post and I'm gonna glide up to the top of my crease in the corner here, well, the puck's probably gone from here out to there. So I'm gonna follow it with my eyes. If I come, have to come back down, where's that puck? It's gonna be down here. Maybe across my crease, somebody's come out from behind the net, you're gonna cover them off. Where we go, puck's back out to the point. Maybe it's over to the other point, back to my post. So a little bit of those pushing movements, but also engaging your brain and your eyes to predict what's gonna happen next. Your warm up is not when you go on the ice and guys on your team take slappers right at your face. That is, that is not your warm up. Uh, so this, this will get your muscles ready to move, um, decrease your risk of injury, get your um, energy substrates mobilized and circulating in your blood so you don't kind of get on the ice and in the first three minutes you feel exhausted and then it takes you about another 10 minutes to recover until you really feel like you're into the game. This warm up will, will help with all that. So if you like this, uh, give us a like. If you want some more goalie specific training exercises, um, subscribe and then you get the videos before everyone else does. In the description, there will be a link to a free report. I can't remember honestly if it's a butterfly flare widening or the quick hands, quick feet, but either one you probably want to check out. This is Maria from GoalieTrainingPro.com. Catch you next time.